DMM tournament number 12. Last time, I was the last person to go down for the 1v1s to start. Something unlucky happens to me every single time. If I'd have survived just one second more, I would have made it to the 1v1s. However, I have hope in this tournament because instead of 128 people going to the 1v1s, this time it is double, it's 256. So I stand a lot bigger chance of making it to those 1v1s. But anything can happen in multi. One of the biggest changes to this tournament is that the Revenant Caves can now be entered. They don't drop the regular drops because that would be incredibly overpowered, but they do drop the rares, including the Crossbow, the Scepter, and the Chain Mace, which is going to be extremely overpowered because PvP weapons are in this tournament again, dropped by monsters in the Wilderness, and these weapons are extremely good in the Wilderness. So it's going to be interesting to see what clan locks down the revenants. Also, the rest of the monsters in the rev caves are also going to be unlocked. So they're going to be packed for Wildy Slayer, but it's in multi-combat. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So this time, I'm actually taking a completely different route, just to change it up a bit. I always rush melee. This time, I'm going range, and I'm going to do Wildy Slayer to about 70 range. And basically, the plan is to rush Barrows. Well, that's my plan anyway. Things can change so easily. It just depends. My whole plan could go to absolute garbage because I could get PK'd and everything. But that is the plan to rush Barrows because the Barrows brothers drop really good supply drops. They have a chance of dropping the tier 5 emblems. And of course, I get Barrows pieces. And if I get some really good Barrows pieces early on, I don't have to worry on day 7 just before the final hour starting to get my barrows pieces. And also I'm not really wasting much time because my gear isn't going to be much different from day 1 barrows to day 7 barrows. Obviously my stats are going to be a bit higher but the gear I'm just going to be using ibans and stuff. Let's do this. Every training spot is going to be so packed. 10 HP I need to get some quick levels otherwise someone's going to come along with fire blast and one hit me. Mage will be faster I just need to get some combat levels so I look a little bit more intimidating. I've qualified an ult, as always. I need to try to get the 10k, but there's probably going to be PKs there. Whilst trying not to get PK on this account also. There's 50 magic and 20 defense. So it's no time to train range. I need 50 magic anyway for the Ivan staff. I keep on having to log out in the stronghold because I keep on seeing PKs. There's a guy with 5 keys. Yep, there's the guy with 5 keys. Teleport to Lumbridge quick. Yep, it's over. I'm gonna log out for a bit. He's not gonna follow. He actually is following. Get the log out. I'm, I have no food. Not too much rush on that account. This account safely made it to the bridge. And I'm gonna use this account to flip. I'm so bad at multitasking. I tried doing Slayer one time and it, oh. It's bad enough playing on one account and mine two. So this one's just gonna say the G flipping. And there is level 50 range finally. I get a teleport with this guy. So I might as well teleport to the tree gnome stronghold. And the amazing thing is, by the way, some quests are completed, like Monkey Madness and Ava's Accumulator and all that good stuff, which is the best update ever because Monkey Madness always screwed me over. There was always clans peeking there. So I'm going to get myself 30 agility whilst I'm here. 30 agility. I can now use this tree to the Grand Exchange, which is super helpful. Thank God they added bone crossbows to this shot. Can I get the Ava's Accumulator? Doesn't look like there's any PKs. Boom. But yeah, we are now ready to go to Green Dragons and get myself Protection Prayers. That is the most important thing. But at least now I have Teleport, so I do have some sort of escape. Because a lot of people literally don't even have a Teleport because they can't afford Lore Runes. Okay, well, for the first time, Rev Caves are here. And I'm with a clan, thank God. Yeah, I'm just going to bury the bones instead of going to the Ecto because... Whatever happens, I'm still getting non-stop XP. There's never a point when there's no green dragons. I just got a supply drop. <laughs> no way. Okay, that's not the best because no one really needs the runes right now, but I will take it. Cannot complain with that. Holy crap. I have no food, so I'm going to bank, but I've got a full invent of hides, so hopefully this should sell for something decent. 53 range, 29 prayer. That is such a sick method because in recent tournaments when I've gone to green dragons, east dragons, oh my god, they are so packed. 
It's like two people per dragon. Level 60 range, closing in on 44 prayer, and currently working on 40 defense as well. There's the big one, 43 prayer. It's the most important thing right at the start. Gonna stay here until level 44, of course, for Eagle Eye, and 40 defense. And there's 40 defense. Oh, I got 44 prayer, I didn't even realize. Well, I guess now it's time to start Wildy Slayer, so I need to pick up one easy task first before I can start it. Go on easy task of zombies. Might as well go to the wilderness and do them. The Slayer begins. Should be safe here, because the thing is I have one of the highest range levels in the game, so I can actually fight back. There we go, task completed. Time to get a Wildy task. It all just depends on this task. I could get such a risky task where there's just clans everywhere it all comes down to this i could get screwed over so badly worst task oh my god this guy there's there's three demons in edgeville dungeon everyone oh my what do i even do what do i even do it looks like the clan i'm in is holding down the entire rev caves though so it looks like i might be able to go to black demons that would be great because like i said there's literally three black demons in edgeville dungeon and everyone goes there because of the highest combat level so they have a better chance of dropping the pvp weapons Oh yes, thank god. Oh my god, this is great. No lie, each black demon is literally taking over five minutes, so um, definitely not a good idea. I'm gonna have to skip it. This is so much time wasted, games necklaces don't bark. Scorpion task done, please, yes. Uh, is that good? I don't know, it sounds alright. This is a really good task, as long as I don't get PK'd. Didn't know they were 100 combat which means potential tier fives. Big milestone level 70 range. There's no black dragon hide in the game yet, nor red D hide. If I was to look out right now, I'd be rank four, so we're doing really, really well. And the thing is, it's not the end of the world if I get PK'd because re-gearing in this is not gonna cost a lot at all. Whereas if I was doing melee and I lost the D sim, it's all over. No way. Oh my God, I just got Morrigan thrown, at, throw, thrown javelins. And a Klushkal in the same drop. Um, that could have been a VLS. Or a Stat Warhammer. Or a Zerial Staff. Uh, I mean, they're good. They're just not going to sell any for anything, to be honest. They're just not. Damn, that's insane. I can't complain, really, because I just got a PvP weapon drop on my first task. Like, oh my god, imagine if I got a VLS or... One of the good weapons it would have been a game changer literally i got marigan javelins twice last tournament too oh um heh. cool i didn't really lose much probably not the smartest idea to go back straight away so in the meantime, I'm going to train some agility. For your agility, I'm going to go to Canafis. Quite some while later, 50 agility. Good to get out of the way though. I should speed up underground pass, I should hope. You need something new to hum. I didn't finish off the greater demons. It might be because the NPCs did more damage than that clan. Yeah, that could be it. And then it cancelled the task for some reason. But yeah, Mammoths is a really good task as long as I don't get caught out in multi. Singles is just there and I'm right next to the safe zone so we should be good. But I'm a bit upset that I was halfway through my Great Demons task. It took ages. Now it's cancelled. 50 Slayer, nice milestone. Finally, the first emblem. It's meant to be four times the drop rate, but I doubt that. Second mysterious emblem. I should have banked my emblems. Oh, that's so upsetting. I got another emblem, this time when I get a second, I'm banking. Now if you're wondering how I'm gearing up every time, it's because I'm flipping on the ult. I'm actually making a really good amount of money on that. Without the ult, I'd honestly be screwed trying to make money again. For crying out, <laughs> I hate this game. Please, no, they got a freeze. See ya, Hicks. Wait, I'm, I'm not made it yet. Right, I'm going to upgrade into sharks because I could have actually tanked them the first time if I had sharks. As if I just tank them on lobsters, noobs. I just hit 78 range, which means I can equip the Morrigan Javelins. So I could start taking a few round with me. 
but the thing is if they just pray range then it's not much use second supply drop astral runes and mist runes how useless first task has been completed 58 slayer i could do with some nice easy tasks just so i can reach four tasks in a row and then i can start in points they're in multi nah i'm not too sure on this one they're definitely part of the clan that's peaking yeah this is gonna be a struggle they're too busy god damn it third supply drop 60 law runes it's probably worth like 18k so i'll take it just i'm probably gonna get pk for it that's all level 80 ranged and rank one is actually 80 ranged so we're pretty much rank one 60 slayer so i'm rank four slayer surprisingly somehow didn't get pk no emblems though i'm not sure what's going on with that 81 range 62 slayer don't screw me over uh kind of did i don't know i'll do them tomorrow morning i'm gonna go sleep the multi combat 50 wilderness uh, i guess we'll see logging off with rank 5 range and rank 5 slayer it's a new day i've had a good amount of sleep i'm not going to sleep deprived i never do and I'm going down for my mills and everything. Yeah, I've decided to go to the Rogue's Castle. Screw it. This is what I'm risking. We've arrived. Is there anyone else here? There's actually not. This is a super quick task. And I actually can potentially log out if I close all the doors, you know. Because I'll see people coming. They can't hop inside. Rogue task completed. Apparently, Wildy Slayer is completely packed. Like, nine people to five fire giants are heard. That does not sound like fun. Ice giants. I'm doing them in multi-combat. Because I just know for a fact, at the single ice giants, there's going to be so many people there. Probably a good time to bank. We know what happened last time I got two emblems. 85 range, that is not bad at all. Surprisingly survived the ice giant task. Four tasks in a row, I can now finally start earning points. But yeah, like I said, it is time to do underground pass. I'd like to go to Barrows. I pretty much just need to get the Ibans. I've got enough money on the alt. I'm making bank off flipping. Things are going really, really well. 